The Illinois Department of Children and Family Services today releasing a nine page report. WMBD's Durante Matthews breaks down the timeline of events. The report, detailing a legal battle of alleged abuse that ended in a Peoria child's demise. The Department of Child and Family Services releasing a timeline of events that ultimately ended in the death of eight-year-old Navin Jones. The report states Navin was born in 2013 to Stephanie Jones and Brandon Walker, where the infant tested positive for narcotics. He and his older sibling were placed in the custody of DCFS and were given to their paternal grandmother. The court granted legal guardianship to their grandmother in 2017. In mid-July of 2021, the grandmother allowed both children to stay with their parents while she addressed the family emergency in Florida. The report states when she came back at the beginning of August, both parents refused to return the kids to their grandma. The grandmother then contacted DCFS and the Peoria Police Department for help getting the kids back and claimed Jones, the mother, had a history of drug use and aggression towards the children. She also claimed the parents' home was unfit for the children. Police and DCFS made several visits to the parents' home, many unsuccessful. DCFS also checked in with Peoria Public Schools to find out the kids were not even registered. In October, Walker, the father, told DCFS the family was in Florida and that they would not return the kids to their grandmother. The family eventually returned to Central Illinois. In early February of this year, DCFS opened another investigation into the family after receiving a report that the children were not in school, they were dirty, and the older sibling was going to work with Walker. Walker every day. In February, CPS finally had an interview with the family where both kids denied any abuse and said they felt happy with their parents rather than their grandmother. The report states CPS noticed Navin looked sickly, thin, and small in stature. Navin and his parents said he had been eating, but he didn't gain any weight. The parents said since they didn't have legal guardianship of the kids, they couldn't get them medical attention. CPS assessed the kids were safe pursuant to the Child Endangerment Risk Assessment Protocol. On March 2nd, the grandmother mentioned she was frustrated police didn't help her get the kids back and she eventually signed a short-term guardianship paperwork on March 14th. On March 29th, DCFS received a report that Navin had been found unresponsive by his mother at their home. He was pronounced dead just before 8 p.m. Police noted he had ligature marks, sores on his back, and that there were piles of urine-soaked sheets in his room. At the time of his death, Navin weighed 38 pounds and was 72 degrees when he arrived at the hospital. In Peoria, Durante Matthews, WMBD News.